Now, whether you're a fan of some fall family fun or a spooky soiree, it seems Bowling Green has something for everyone this season. With all the festivities, WBKO Sarah Phipps looks into the economic impact this season has on our area. Ron Bunch, president and CEO of the Bowling Green Area Chamber of Commerce, said despite the many fall activities the city offers, there's no real swing season for the economy. But you do have different activities that pick up or have in flow and that are replaced by other things. So, um, you know, with sports and all that, you get tailgating and all the additional eating out, watching sporting events and stuff like that. So you get more of that, but it's, it's also building community. And Though Bunch said the fall months do bring one of the biggest catalysts for the Bowling Green economy, Hilltoppers. Because that's a big inflow of spending and economic activity that's consistent through the school year. And then when students are out, there's a notable change in the amount of traffic, the amount of inter economic activity. Visit BGKY Communications Director Lauren Guess echoed Bunch's sentiments, saying though there's no real economic uptick in the fall, the city does see more visitors. We see people coming from all over to participate. Some of the Visitors who we see come from Louisville and Lexington and Nashville. Those tend to be our, our most popular cities where people will travel to Bowling Green. Guests said a lot of these visitors come for Bowling Green's more spooky side, but stay for the not so scary fun. So October is a really big month for Bowling Green. Um, obviously, Bowling Green is home to John Carpenter, who is the mastermind behind the Halloween franchise movies. So we always try to make a big deal about Halloween in the area and with doing, we we're able to do that um, thanks to our attraction partners and all the efforts that they put into their Halloween and seasonal initiatives. We'll have a link to visit BGKY's fall directory on our website, WBKO.com. Reporting in Bowling Green, Sarah Phipps, WBKO News.